Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Joy, back with another video. And so today we are going to be doing uh, my college essentials slash things that are in my backpack. So yeah. <laughs> So if you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Joy. I make college beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. So if that's something that you're interested in, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And then for all of you out there, pause and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. So let's get started in the video. For my backpack, I just have this pink campus backpack, as you can see. Um, what I really like about Pink's backpacks is that they have like the compartment in the back for your laptop and I do bring my MacBook with me every time I come to campus just because like I feel like I always need it and it's always like a source of entertainment or information for me. I have this Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer. I am very adamant about keeping my hands clean. I hate when they're sticky or dirty so when I have lunch or eat like a snack or stuff I definitely love um, sanitizing my hands. So some things that I have that I like to take with me on campus I really try and limit how much stuff I carry and I put most of my stuff in my car just because like you're gonna be walking a lot of miles and you don't want to be dragged down by a bunch of weight especially when you're late to class I've had to sprint and run to my classes so many times because I was late and let me tell you having a big backpack on your back does not help you in that case Pink backpacks have two side pockets for your water bottles so I like to bring my hydro flask as you can see, I decorated it so much. Hydro flasks are great because they keep, they insulate the water and the ice. So you can have ice in here for like two or three days and it'll still be super cold. And that's really great. You definitely want to bring a water bottle onto campus because at CSULB, and I'm assuming like most colleges, they have like the refill refillable water bottle stations. And you will be dehydrated if you don't drink water through your classes, especially since you're going to be sitting in lectures for long periods of time. Um, it definitely helps to have a water bottle. And usually water is like the only thing some teachers Teachers, some professors allow in their classes so this is great so I'm gonna open this small pocket right here one thing I do like to carry around with me and I find a lot of people asking me is having like lotion so I like this Korean it's a Korean brand um, what's it called hand moisturizer cream and it's called good day my plant hand cream and it just smells so cute so I was gonna say it smells so cute how can you smell cute next thing um because i have iron deficiency anemia thank you to my periods i do carry my iron pills with me just so that i don't forget to take them which i often do forget to take my phone like obviously like i have to have this i love having this pop socket which i got at claire's your keys uh, honestly, I think that it's really good to have like a lanyard because it's easy to lose your keys, it's easy to lose stuff on campus, and I also like having this carabiner hook thing so that way I can hook it like let's say I want to hook it on this hook right here and get it like easy grab so like if I'm late at night in the parking lot I don't have to like fumble and worry about like creepers coming out or anything. So obviously bring your wallet with your school ID, with your cards, with cash because you never know when you're going to need any of that. I like to bring like a hair tie or a scrunchie so that like when I'm in class like my hair is not all over in my face. In college the good thing is my high school did not have AC only in like cubicles and stuff like that so in college we do have AC so that means it does get cold sometimes so I just like to bring like a jacket or a sweater or sweatshirt with me and then this is just my LA County Fire Department sweatshirt that my boot got for me and I think it's so cute that's just the back I feel like in college you don't need like a lot of supplies like compared to elementary high school middle school so I would say like one of the more important essentials is having like a notebook and you don't need like a notebook for every class so what I like to do instead is get like a three subject or five subject like notebook and I really love this peach color I just think it's so adorable and this is a three subject one I got from Target a lot of people actually take their notes on the computer which I do like taking them too but I feel like when I write them down more it helps me more mentally and I actually read them instead of going back to my computer and my Google Drive. I like to have like to-do lists so 
You can find these at like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Ross, places like that. And this is just the seven days a week. I don't use this every day of college, but I do use this on weeks that I have a lot going on and my planner just doesn't cut it. Like days that I know that I'm gonna miss something if I don't write it down. So these are really helpful for those hectic, busy hell weeks. Next thing that I like to bring is headphones. I think that this is like one of the number one essentials next to your phone. Every college student either has their AirPods, their Beats, their earbuds. And so I go back and forth between bringing my earbuds and my Beats, but I love my Beats because I can go wireless so I don't have to have the cord or anything. These are just the rose gold ones and I just think that they're so cute and I just love the fact that I don't have to have a cord if I charge them, <laughs> obviously. So to listen to music and stuff when I'm walking to class and like from class because you do have a lot of downtime where you're just by yourself and like yeah you can walk to class and leave class with friends or classmates but you don't always have the same schedule lined up. Don't use binders. I feel like binders are very unnecessary if you're in college. That's okay. I'm not judging you if you use them and you're in college but what I find more in useful is an accordion folder like this. So this is the one I used last year and I loved it. It's just, um, I put this in here, these like Bible quote verses and stuff. It's pink on the back and then on the inside it's blue and these are just the classes I had from last year. So that way like this actually will, you know, like open like in an accordion. And it's really helpful and it takes less space than having multiple binders because a lot of professors don't give you busy work like they do in high school and a lot of your stuff is online so they don't really hand you a bunch of paper you don't collect paper you don't have binder checks nothing like that so binders are just too bulky and an according folder will just do it for all your classes and number one essential out of all of this is my planner my planner i'm a huge planner girl and this is from Target, but I normally get my planners from TJ Maxx, Ross, or Marshalls. And so a planner is very essential. Like, let me tell you, this is what holds my life together, y'all, okay? And make sure it's a weekly and a monthly planner. You'll be able to write your work schedule, write your class schedule, or do your social activities, any other commitments you have. So you need a planner. Just, you need a planner so you don't forget about it. Because let me tell you, like, I go to bed reading this. I wake up reading this. Sometimes I don't, but most of the time I do. Do bring your phone charger and also bring your laptop charger because you can always charge your phone and your laptop in the library or in other places on campus to get that charge because your stuff will die and I always like to put it in another bag so note cards I think having note cards is important because they help you for tests and stuff but I do kind of like Quizlet a lot better which is like the online version of note cards so you can go paperless and it's just easier to type and stuff I think whiteout is very important too, especially if you write in pen a lot like me and if you do plan a lot in your planner, you constantly are having things that are changed so whiteout is important. Another thing that's important is having dry erase markers. So I love having different colors in my pens and my dry erase markers. So these are just two of them because um, in the library they do have whiteboards for you to use especially if you're in your honors room they have whiteboards there. So and sometimes your classes will require you to have dry erase markers to use and I just find that they're really helpful for studying and I just love them. Have pencils and have pens and highlighters that's all the unique stuff not unique that's all like the basic stuff you need for me I like a bunch of colors so I have like the colorful pack of pens I like colorful pack of highlighters I don't use like the wooden pencils I love having the lead pencils favorite eraser of all time is the I'm gonna say this wrong the stay Staler Mars plastic this is like the bomb eraser ever and I think having an eraser is really important as well. USB memory card just because a lot of your classes especially if you do projects they will require you to have one to like be able to put stuff because you can't really save stuff on the computers at school nor would you want to or should want to so you can always have this with you so you can put it on your USB. Um, sometimes I put it on my drive but you only have so much space on your Google Drive. Um, in my backpack is my MacBook Air. So 
on like the first day of school I brought my PC and I was like nope never again that thing was so heavy on my back so I think if you're a college student it's uh, the best MacBook to get is the MacBook Air because it's super thin and it's super light and the only thing about the MacBook Air is it does not have like the CD-ROM insert I don't know if I said that right next essential is if you wear glasses or need glasses bring them because you don't always get the opportunity to sit in the front row seat for me my vision's pretty good but i have a hard time reading from far away so i like bringing my glasses with me to help me see so yeah definitely bring your glasses don't leave them at home take good care of them bring your textbooks so this is the only textbook that i have that came in the mail already and if you're a journalism student you better best be bringing this every with you every day this is literally the ap style book is like the bible for journalists so um i definitely brought this like every time i went to my journalism classes last semester last item is this penny board now i don't use this every time i come to class sometimes i do the reason why i included this is because on campus it's a commute going from your parking spot to your first class uh, and so a lot of people will bring scooters skateboards penny boards or they will rent those like bird scooters and stuff and so if you have a transportation device like this that you can get around campus that's pretty cool so thank you guys for watching that video that's all I have I am sure I missed some school essential that I not did not put it in this video but uh, thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate it I am so sorry for all of the spam of the road trip vlogs that you are going to be seeing it's just i wanted to get them done and uploaded before like school started and stuff so that's all so thank you for watching this video and bye